Hey guys, as I was editing episode 2, I realized at about the 20 minute marker that I still had another hour of footage to dig through, and I decided to break it into two episodes. Uh, I feel like maybe breaking these segments into smaller bite-sized chunks might make them easier to digest instead of watching me waffle about for 45 minutes. So, I hope you enjoy. had made um, charcoal blocks. I'm not sure if this will use it as a fuel. It sure will. Sweet. So that'll save me some time. Um, <clears throat> make sure that these guys burn up. These guys smelt up. Uh, you're done though. I'm going to take you. Put you in here. That's done. That'll do that. You can finish smelting your iron, and now that I have this time in the bottle, I got two hours saved. I was AFK for a while while I was editing videos, so let's check this out. Ah, oh, yeah, check that out. All right, to the point of no power. Uh, can we force you to generate power? Uh, uh hmm. Well, I knew it was going to be the great equalizer, so... I can't really tick boost too, too much on the basic stuff. The other thing I wanted to look at here is I have the basic stuff completed, but it did not take. So when this is done pulverizing, I'm going to try to pick it up and let's see if that'll... Actually, you know what? Here. Let's go ahead and... Put you on pause for just a second here. If I pick you up. And then go here. Oh, still don't like it. Hmm. It's probably a bug with the quest log then. Mm-hmm. 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 No matter, uh, we'll fix it later. Uh, so I need to cut down some more trees, make some more charcoal, and really actually, before I do any of that stuff, what I wanna do, we have enough coal now to do dagnals. I think I want to do, mm hmm, it's four per panel. I need five panels, so I need 20 blocks of coal. I've got 21. Let's take a look at this guy. Five panels, four blocks of coal, four blocks of gold. Um, and a piece of yellow stained glass, no problem. I'm gonna smelt up some sand here, put my time in the bottle away. We got our gold. Uh, uh, uh. Need five of you. One, two, three. Oh, shoot. There's only one. Give me that. Oh, because I left the rest of it downstairs. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Get the other four. Boom. Done. All right. Danknol. Add you in. Sweet. So this guy will let you, uh, I believe you shift right click, you sure do, and you can put um, up to this many different types of blocks in there. So like, let's grab a, we'll grab a piece of smooth stone, a piece of cobblestone, a piece of dirt, we'll grab some sand, some gravel. Uh, we'll find lots of marble, we'll probably get some limestone. There's gonna be some basalt, uh, there's some slate. Uh, so then you can shift right click and you can go ahead and add all this stuff into the, uh, the whitelist here. And what that'll do, um, let's see, extract all but one, I think I hit P, no. Uh, control click to change extraction. Yeah, that way uh, these guys stay in here. Um, Place all but one and extract all but one. Sweet. Mm, that way they, they stay in here and I'll have to reconfigure it. Um, so what that'll do is as I pick that stuff up, it'll just go straight into the dank null up to 2,048 pieces, which is uh, 
uh, I don't know how many stacks. Uh, 64 divided, no, 2048 divided by 64 is uh, carry the one minus three. <laughs> it's a lot, it's a lot. <laughs> Here, I'll do it on my calculator real quick. Divided by 64, it looks like, yeah, 32 stacks, sweet. I was looking through uh, stupid things. I searched things and it brought up random things too and I forgot that in random things, there's divining rods, which will show you the location of whatever you're looking for. Oh, that one doesn't have the info on it. An 11 by 11 cube center on you. So, I can get all of the vanilla and make it into the vanilla divining rod. It'll show me where all the vanilla ores are in 11 by 11 cube. <laughs> Stupid like a fox. I wanna see about hunting some spiders. Alright, we're gonna go hunt me some, some spiders here. <clears throat> I don't know how successful I'll be. Get out of here, phone man. I had to turn the brightness up because it was really dark and although it's fun for me to play like that, it's probably terrible to watch on YouTube. Hello? Sovereign Envoy. Do you mind? Do you, not? you look scary, man. Ah, uh, uh, here. Deal with him. Come on, man. Don't do this. Don't do this, man. Alright, so you just gotta kinda keep. Oh, he drops a book. Why don't you drop me? Flim flam, yuck. Ugh. Alright, well, I'm gonna go hunt some spiders. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll bring you back if something interesting happens. Like accidentally charging a creeper. Um, yeah. Yeah. Note to self. Fire the hole! No. Officially, way. Ooh. What's this house over here? Not mistaken, I think that's one of those, uh, what's it called, uh, the dungeon, uh, it's one with, like, the many layers and fire and ice troll. Yeah, I don't want to mess with any trolls. I'm pretty sure at daytime they're petrified, but at nighttime they're, they, they hit pretty hard like that at Thakwa. And with 400 hit points, I mean, I could sit there and beat on them for, like, an hour and, uh, I don't think uh, I don't think I'm gonna do much damage to him. So yeah, we got this little house here. Oh, doors open. So maybe maybe Emily already came through here. Some cake. Usually open doors mean that someone's been through here. I will take the carpet though because I need. I need the blue carpet. No, this is light blue. Ah, shoot. Uh, spider eye. Hey, all right, cool. Um, so then maybe I can do the uh, the diamond uh, divining rod. Do I really want to go mess with it? I sure do. So I think this is one of those uh, roguelike dungeons. Dungeons. Emily has definitely been down this way. Question is, how much has she explored? Uh, if I remember, I, I there's a ton of chests down here. I don't have the loot space for it, so let's mark this real quick. I'm gonna call it a uh, rogue like. I'm gonna turn the enable off just so it's not gonna be cluttering my screen. We're gonna slash home real quick.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't want refined iron. What is this? Um. Shh. Oh man. Okay, that's not gonna work out for us. Let's have you. Oh, you know what? Cause I have it auto inputting. I don't want you to auto input. Oh, and I just screwed up bad. Oh man. Can I break you back down to iron? Oh no. Oh damn, 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 damn. Oh, there went our entire supply of iron. I cannot believe that is such a stupid recipe. Resmell iron and it gets. Ah. Ah. Oh man. Oh man. I, I, I think I just this pretty hard. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> oh no. Well, uh, I guess instead of going to explore that dungeon, I'm going to go ahead and try to recoup and, and go mine some more. So I'll, uh, I'll be back in a bit. I'm not going to record this. It's going to be boring. Well, seeing as I got to get back down into the dirt, uh, let's look at making a flux bore real quick. Um, just need some invar, some copper, and a flux bore. <laughs> Thinking quickly, he crafted a flux bore using some invar, some copper, and a flux bore. Uh, so the flux bore requires a drill head, which is iron. <laughs> the insult continues. Uh, tool casing, which is some gold, some more iron, and some redstone. And then an iron gear. Hey, look at that. Um, luckily for me, um, I caught it in time before all of our iron was turned into uh, uh, refined iron. And then the other thing we're going to need is an energetic infuser to actually infuse this thing with power. So real quick, let's get this flux bore online. We'll make our drill head. Make our casing here. Gold, that was the other thing I need. Gold. I think I just needed the two, right? Yeah, I just needed the two. All right. You know what? Be smarter than the crafting table. So you know what? I can do this. All right, cool. Uh, da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. And that should what do I need? Silver and tin and an iron gear. So let's grab our silver. Did you smelt into something stupid? No, you're there. One, two, three. I think we need two. Of you tin? Did you smelt into something stupid? No, you did not. How come iron? Iron being like the most common resource in the game, the one that you need the most. Ugh. And then we need invar. Invar, invar, right. Uh, can I sneak you in there real quick? Yeah, sweet, thank you. Um, I don't think I need the electron right now, but I'm gonna need it pretty soon here. And let's go ahead and use my cheaty little tick acceleration deal here, yeah. Only two little pops. Yeah, yeah. So I need two and then enough for the gear. One, two, three, four, one, two. All right, I think that's it. Uh, invar, invar gear. Invar ingots for the hardened flux war. All right, so then the next thing we need is <laughs> copper. <laughs> we need more copper. <laughs> of course we need more copper and I only have six pieces here, so. All right, it's doing copper right now. So let's go ahead and pull that out of there so it'll go ahead and make the copper for us. Oh, I'm so mad, I can't believe. Uh, 
I'm gonna pull the iron out and then I'm gonna have it auto input again. And I think the iron is the only thing that will double smelt, so... Uh, fuck. All right, let's grab this copper out of here. Energetic infuser. I need two of these guys. Uh, uh, redstone, duga, we need silver. Um, we need gold. We need lead. All right, so lead, one, two, three, four. Uh, silver, one of you, one of you. And I have the redstone because I'm always prepared. <laughs> if you believe that, I got a bridge in Brooklyn I'd like to sell you. Uh, what? I thought I grabbed two. Oh, I specifically remember saying one of you. Huh. <laughs> About as smart as a fart. All right, and then the machine frame, which is tin, iron, which I just put away upstairs, which means I'm walking back upstairs. All right, so make our machine frame real quick. I bet you I don't have the glass in my inventory. <laughs> I sure don't. One, two, three, four. Um, got you. I need you. And then that should be you, right? Sweet, so this is the uh, the energetic infuser. It builds up an internal buffer and allows us to charge things like the flux bore, the flux capacitor, which I should also look into making. I need tin, I need lead, I need copper, I need sulfur, that's not too bad. We'll go ahead and get one of those thrown together. The other thing I wanna make is, do we have at thermal? Energy cells, is that what they're called? The energy cells, hey, all right, cool. Block of redstone, two pieces of lead, redstone conductors, that's gold, lead gear, iron, so we're gonna need four iron. One, two, three, four, uh, take one of those, a couple of these. Uh, what else did I say? Uh, let's add this to my shopping list. Energy cell. Glass. Da, 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 da. And then. Uh, oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Totally meant to do that. Glass, lead gear, iron. Alright, I'm gonna run back down to the basement, get this guy dropped in, set up the energy cell, and then. Probably gonna plant some trees, and. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I gotta put the uh, energy cell here anyway, so I'll just run this right to here. So I know what you're wondering. Why am I using charcoal instead of coal that we seem to have so so much of? And the thing is, is because if I'm going to get into immersive engineering, I'm gonna need the coal for coal coke. And then I also have been using it to make dank nulls for, well, a dank null for myself, but undoubtedly Emily's gonna want one. And Ty, when she figures out what it does, is probably gonna want one too. So, oh gosh, this is gonna take forever. Uh, <laughs> right on. Um, so while that's going, let's uh, take a look at this. Uh, that's done, that's done. We'll grab the energy cell next, which is lead and iron and glass. So we'll grab one, two, three, four of you. And where did I put my crafting grid? It's right here. So we'll go ahead and get this together. You, you, and then I need two more pieces of lead here. One, two, and we'll go, uh, I need the reception coil, which is a piece of gold. Ooh, it is not gold, it is Electrum. Uh, did any of that smelt up yet? Oh, sweet, see, I knew I was gonna need it. Uh, get our Electrum together here, we got all that stuff together, sweet. So there is our energy cell. So we're gonna go ahead and configure this. It's gonna take power in. Uh, let's just push in and out. 
push in and out. Um, let's input. Ah. Uh, I forget how this guy works. Let's see here. Okay, so that's off. Hmm. So we definitely want you to take power. Hmm. Maybe what I should do is I should hook him up right here. He'll take power directly from the coil and then he can distribute it as he needs to. I think that's the way we're gonna do this. And my pick's broken. And that's why I have an iron pick. I should really get a crescent hammer. Oh, shoot. Yeah, no, I really need a crescent hammer. Huh, I thought you could break it with a pick. I guess I thought wrong. I'll, uh, I'll clean this mess up and I'll be right back. All right, so now we got our stuff together. We're gonna go ahead and make the crescent hammer. Get this guy here, we'll pick you up. Blip. And oh, that didn't break, sweet. I was I was like really bummed out. I was like, I thought I could do that. I, 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 I apparently can. So we'll get you out of there. I don't know how I'm gonna grab you uh, without breaking things. Uh, all right, we'll just, okay. So this is going to be input, that's gonna be output. So it's gonna take power in from the coil directly. As you can see, it's taking the, the charge in and it's putting it out into the system. It's taking the, it's take, it's taking, mm. so that's that. Um, I'm going to, you cannot be smelted, right? No, you have to go through Tech Reborn, you, I'm going to need, ooh, we do have EFLNs in here. <laughs> uh, what are those flammable spikes? Spikes, how do you make spikes? Iron and cactus makes some of these like caltrops. Mm, I'm getting bad ideas. I'm getting really, really bad ideas. Right, so. That should be that, and then, is this fully charged? No. There's no way. That can't be, po that can't possibly, that's 120,000 RF. Um, okay, well, whatever, I'll take it. Uh, so fuse quartz, that's what we needed, the, uh, the, the, the uh, Oh gosh, what's it called? The uh, the, the the furnace. Uh, uh. Mm, I can't remember what the hell it's called now. Da, 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 da. It's 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 a uh, induction something induction induction furnace, right? All right, at thermal. Uh, in yeah, it's the induction furnace. We can uh, check out the recipes for this guy. So to make the fused glass or the hardened glass, you need uh, uh, therm glass, uh, hardened copper, silver, hardened glass. Um, actually. No, no, I'm not using pyrothium for that. So it looks like a piece of lead and some obsidian. So we need to pulverize some lead and pulverize some obsidian and that's how we're gonna get our hardened glass, which means we need to get down to obsidian, which means I need a pick that can mine obsidian, which means we're gonna need tinkers online. So I'm not gonna burn diamond or will you? You'll mine obsidian, won't you? All right, we got ourselves some obsidian here. Got some platinum too, don't mind if I do. Oh, whoa. Okay, I almost ruined that and this totally cannot do obsidian yet. So it might be the next level that I can do obsidian on. All right, so here we are and as you can see, 
totally can do that. So now let's set you to three by three. And I don't have the flux magnet yet, so we're gonna go classic Minecraft and do the old bucket of water trick. Make sure I don't get burned alive here. Um, uh, this isn't gonna be easy, is it? Actually, you know what? It's totally gonna be easy. I just gotta do it in the right spot. So we'll just mine this guy right here. I don't like these particles. Where are, where are these particles coming from? Another super cheaty thing I just discovered. I can totally vein mine. Which means I can do single block, it'll go much faster, and then I can get the whole area. <laughs> Perfect. Sweet. <laughs> like butter, baby. All right. Catch you back topside. So some word of words of advice to uh, you younger Minecrafters out there. Um, uh, particularly if you're playing vanilla, uh, you wanna go down to Y12 in particular because lava lakes tend to spawn between Y0 and Y10 to 11-ish. So at Y12, you're less likely to run into them. And diamonds start spawning at Y16 and go all the way down to Y0, right? So, I mean, Theoretically, you'd want to go down low, but realistically, Y12 is about where you want to be to uh, ensure that you get uh, the maximal exposure to diamonds and the minimal exposure to lava. So keep that in mind when you're mining. Uh, pro tips. Before I go, so I had just done the outro, I, uh, I recalled one last thing I wanted to do with this episode, and it's going to require two diamonds, uh, five sticks, and where did I put that spider eye? Oh no. Oh, you know what? I think I put it in my chest upstairs. <laughs> I was about to panic. Yes. All right. So let's... Let's do this. And I don't know if these actually work, so I might have just wasted some diamonds. But supposedly, if you hold it in your hand, it'll show you uh, uh, the uses. Uh, holding this in your main or offhand, so we can even just go ahead and put you in the shield hand and then mine with the flux bore um, and this should show me where all the diamond ore blocks are within an 11 block radius of me so let's check this out let's see if this actually works um, I haven't found any diamonds yet and that would have probably been the more useful way to test this but you know uh, if you're gonna believe in witchcraft and wizardry you know you might as well see it be put to test uh, to the test right you know so we're gonna come down here go down my deep dark scary mine passage and it should in an 11 block radius show hello am i am i just seeing things glowing hmm is it below me above me is it behind me oh Oh, look at you. Oh. Oh, baby. Oh, 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 yeah. Jackpot. Oh, yeah. All right. Check that out. So this thing totally works. 
Already, it's paid for itself, just like that. Oh, wow. All right, neat. And I guess these will fade over time? They sure will. Sweet. So I can make one of these for all the vanilla materials and then craft the uh, the super the super one that does all the vanilla materials and I bet you they show up in their own colors so I can see what's where and I can basically see through the walls here. And then if I need, uh, what are these, divining rods? Divining. If I need like specialized material, like Certus Quartz is definitely gonna be a thing. I can make the Certus Quartz divining rod. Uh, mm, probably, Uh, Platinum is probably going to be an issue later on, so I can make one of those. But you can make the vanilla one, and it does all the vanilla materials. It got gold, lapis, redstone, emerald, diamond, coal, iron, and it only requires two of each of those and a spider eye, a slime ball, and a stick to craft them all together. Oh my goodness, this is almost cheating. I'm pretty sure it is cheating. Anyway, guys, uh... That's going to be it for me. I'm going to I'm going to have some fun with this thing. We'll catch you later.